Welcome, welcome, lovely vape fam. Once again, Joe of all vapes coming at you. If you're tuning in for the first time, then do me a favor. If you're looking forward to the best in in-depth e-juice reviews, just straightforward, plain, good stuff, smash on that subscribe button so you don't forget or miss anything. You know what I'm saying? I got a ton of stuff coming up. You're not going to want to miss it. So today we're talking about a company by the name of Vaporfy. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit of a better shot in there. there we, you know what? Take my word for it. Okay, guys. But Vaporfy has a ton of e-juice out on the market. Now, they've got their own online web store, but they've also got a lot of shops all across America. Now, the franchise that sent these two flavors out to me is out of the Vaporfy Roanoke location, which I believe is in Virginia. Shooting from the hip here, guys, like usual. So, got a couple of awesome flavors here. First of all, I got the Vaporfy from the Grand Reserve Collection, Island Frost. And that one is a blend of pineapple coconut with champagne-infused blueberries, all together with a muddled mint and lime back-end flavor note. So, um, if, if you can imagine all of that all at once... I could leave it right there and just say that it's really good stuff, but you know me, guys. I'm a vaping nerd, so I've got to pick this stuff apart. So first of all, 70-30 blend on the Island Frost. Now, I had my choice of all different kinds of flavors that I wanted, right? And, and this one just really kind of spoke to me, simply because, number one, you got the pineapple and the coconut, and I'm you know pretty much just a, a pina colada fiend, but... You add in something that is just really light and airy and flavorful, like a good champagne. And of course, you got the blueberry. Champagne infused blueberries is even better, right? Now, anything blueberry, I will vape till kingdom come. But you get a little bit of that lime and mint flavor just kind of on the back note. So let's let's kind of pick this apart. So, first of all, on the inhale, you're getting a good solid flavor of the pineapple and the coconut, which that in itself deserves a high five because most of the time coconut vapes for me do not come through very strongly. So really good combination on the flavors of those. Now you're mixing about five different flavor combinations all together here. Um, between just the coconut, then you got the pineapple, and of course the blueberry champagne. Oh, six. Like I said, apparently I didn't pass math either. Then you got the mint, and of course the lime. The blueberry is really light flavored, but it mixed with the champagne just really expertly. Okay, so on the back end, on a really good exhale, you've got a solid mixture of sort of kind of like a lime and mint verbena. Mixed with that coconut, it really just kind of cools and chills down the creaminess of that. And the pineapple does not come across too citric and sort of acidic in flavor. It's kind of an acidic fruit anyways. But everything mixed and blended together very nicely on this one. So if you can kind of dig through all of that, you're going to come up with a really tasty, light, and effervescent flavor that is incredibly refreshing, very mouthwatering actually, and with very low flavor retention. So not much aftertaste on this stuff. And of course, with a 70-30 blend, you can drip this stuff for days and you're getting really, really good cloud production. I'll give you a little bit of a better example of that here. A little bit more cloudage with that one, but very good and solid stuff. Now, here's what kind of surprised me about Vaporfy, okay? They've got stores all across the United States. They've got, um, you know, a huge website. They're really spectacularly known. So, you, you know, my first impression would be, um, you know, how much effort do they really put into a craft e-juice? You know what I mean? Or is it really even craft? It could just be well mixed. Well, one way or the other, this came across as very impressive to me. The flavor combinations, all the flavors together, six of them as we counted, zero on the nicotine throat hit. As far as that is concerned, the clouds are fairly solid. So if you want something that's really, really refreshing, check out the Island Frost from the Grand Reserve Collection from Vaporfy. And uh, they've got a ton of other flavors under the Grand Reserve Collection too. Not all of them are as light and airy and you know, effervescent as the Island Frost. But, uh, you know, I wanted something that just came across as a little bit more um, light and airy than the typical all-day vape for me, which is, you know, usually just the heavy creamy stuff and whatnot. But 
they supplied me with some of that good stuff too. So Cosmic Fog actually created the flavor blend of this particular flavor for Vaporfy, and that is a strawberry shortcake ice cream. I'm actually going to break the fourth wall here just a little bit. There we go. So you can zoom in on this one. Everything that you see in this is about as old school as it gets. Amazingly tasty stuff. Brings back memories of screaming out to the ice cream man, running around the corner, you know, with dollars in my hands. And the only thing I ever wanted was this darn strawberry shortcake bar. Amazingly tasty stuff. Any of you guys that were born within, the, you know, the 1970s and 80s, I'm 38 years old, so a lot of those fond memories, you know what I'm saying? You definitely remember what I'm talking about. This stuff is so on point and flavorful. Sweet and creamy where it needs to be. You've got that good cakey feeling. Just kind of a nice crumbly cake crust on the outside of this with, of course, a sweet and creamy strawberry ice cream. A little bit of a vanilla action going on in there. So just a beautiful blend and combinations of flavors. Now, this one is Max VG. So I don't know what the difference is between Max and 7030. Um, you know, I obviously anywhere between an 80-20 to a 90-10, if you will. Could even be 100% VG for all I know. What I do know is that for a Max VG, this stuff is incredibly flavorful. You're getting the best of both worlds on the inhale and the exhale. And, uh, you know, backing it by Cosmic Fog is not just a convenient sales pitch, in my opinion. I don't think they were going to be able to do that unless Cosmic Fog actually had their hand into the making and manufacturing of this particular flavor. But really, really amazing stuff. The Strawberry Shortcake Ice Cream Bar cannot highly recommend this. Incredibly tasty. And, um, you know, it, it, it goes beyond just the typical strawberry-flavored candy vapes. So you're getting a really good dessert experience from that stuff. So... I'm destined to try and review more stuff by Vaporfy, and uh, they actually are going to be sending me some more stuff, but I wanted to bust out this review for them first. So Vaporfy Roanoke, thank you very much, and Vaporfy in a whole, I really appreciate you hooking me up. If you guys dug this review, which Lord bless you, I hope you did, spread the word here at Joe Vol Vapes on YouTube. Check me out on Instagram. Spread the love for me here on the social media, guys. You guys are what keeps me moving and grooving, and I couldn't appreciate it more. So I want to leave you with one last little thing. As your eye in the vaping sky, stay humble, love yourselves, love each other, and above all, keep it very, very cloudy. Hey, everybody. This is Joe of All Vapes. Thank you for watching. For the best in vape reviews, pound that subscribe button, and don't forget, vaping saves lives.